Still water is oblivious. Your end approaches. You go. Another blood debt repaid. Show your courage. Screen four. Clean the gold plates. <laughs> Time to change tactics. To guard and defend. Crush them. The fight is set. Savor it for me. I weep for the departed. It gives up all. Another blood debt repaid. Time to change tactics. Lend me your strength. Execute the Marastruck! No one misses the Marastruck. Still waters of oblivion. Savor it in my place. I weep for the departed. Dust rings. The two shall fall. Another blood debt repaid. Never turn back. The path behind is gone. The distant vistas are hazy, but must surely hold beauty.
Lend me your strength. Execute the Mara Struck! Still waters of the place. I weep for the departed. It is my fault. No one in the system is struck. To guard and defend, crush them. Dust for oblivion. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Dust for oblivion. I weep for the heart. It is my fault. Failed to stand you. No one misses the Mara Struck. Execute the Mara Struck. Destiny for oblivion. Your end approaches. I weep for the heart. It is my fault. To guard and defend, crush them. Still waters of oblivion. No one misses the Mara Struck. Fail to stand. Savor it for me. Execute the Mars! 
Marstruck! No one in the the Marstruck! I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Destiny for oblivion. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Kill waters of the I weep for the departed. It is my fault. Your end approaches. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Just for oblivion. I weep for the heart. It too shall fall. Destiny for oblivion.
Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. The fight is set. <laughs> Savor it in my place. I weep for the depart. It is my fault. Again? I'm still watering the blade. No one misses the Mars truck. Failed to spend you. I weep for the heart. It is my fault. To guard and defend. Crush them. I'm still waters of the No one misses the Mars truck. Lend me your strength. Your end approaches. Savor it for me. Execute the Marastruck! For oblivion. I weep for the heart. It is my fault. No one misses the Marastruck. Failed to set you. I'm still waters of the cliff. Lend me your strength. I weep for the heart. It is my fault. No one misses the Marstruck. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Fail to stand you. Savor it for me.
You lend me your strength. No water to the cliff. Again? Execute the Mara Struck! Yes! I weep for the departed. It did so far.
I weep for the heart. It is my fault. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Savor it for me. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. I'm still water to the blade. Execute the Marastruck! You can't hurt me. Desperate for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It is my fault.
Another blank canvas. Another blank canvas. Savor it for me. Lend me your strength. For oblivion. To guard and defend. Crush them. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. It did not fall. Execute the Mara Struck! The fight is set. Savor it for me. Another blood debt repaid. This battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Your end approaches. Destiny for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It did not fall. Too little. Lend me your strength. The Mara Truck. Thank you. 
Another blank canvas. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Still water to the cliff. <laughs> Savor it for me. I weep for the heart. It too shall fall. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. The fight is set. I'll spill water to the blade. I weep for the depart. It too shall fall.
Before, the gleam of old blades. Free will, or was it fate? I weep for the departed. I weep for the heart. It is my fault.
Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me, and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie.
This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An emanator who hides her true identity. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. <laughs> if I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows, right? Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface? Memo Keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the Garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. I told you I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC, if you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. 
Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family, so they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions, and that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you, and the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice, and I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. But don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it! So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan... What is she thinking? On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet, but judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on and deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool. And working with him definitely has its dangers. That is something I agree on. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Come, this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. This way, this is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened, and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. 
We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. There you go, a small parting gift. If one, I also pay great attention, then what fascinating memory. Family breath. Is Himiko okay? has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Ranger. You'll tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire, and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy, until all the kindling is burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon, from the beginning to the end. We are born to die, just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't blame them. But my flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there. And before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. 
draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Destruction is intense, but brief. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists, just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one small mistake. This blade remains in its scabbard not out of pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but... Perhaps out of reciprocity. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. <gasps> Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. My... time? I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances. But they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? <sighs> did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. How about it? Ready to 
take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. Hang on. I... Don't. Don't. What? Your first question was... Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn, to keep on burning until I turn to ash. So, I really envy you. Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Reality cruises on in serenity, while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Just like that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacone is going to turn into a bloodbath. 
But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Indeed, he was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. Are we missing the forest for the trees here? I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts from I've still got this. Uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective. But before we start, what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Plus, this is the family's turf. Teaming up with them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine... Well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow-played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgment. I get why, but... There's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here. I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Uh, you... No, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and you- Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. <laughs> 